the inefficiencies were creating work and in creating work creates frustrations yeah i i don't think you could you'd interview anyone ty that would say i have more time in the day than i <laughs> need i you know leave at three o'clock oh, um yeah it's similar here yeah uh, so taking the inefficiencies out planning longer range bang 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 um, having more customer insights and leveraging automation i uh, i'm able to deliver more with less people uh, and again through natural attrition it's one thing but the opportunity now that i do not get involved in day-to-day -day building the campaigns you know, one of the team members actually want hey i'd love you to review this fantastic bring me in we'll come in we'll have a conversation about it all right but these guys are in a job they're competent at what they do they don't need me sticking my nose in every five minutes it's actually really disempowering all right and if you want to build trust, all right, what are we talking about? Okay, someone briefed me, but it just completely disrails the entire conversation. I manage the RAG system, you know, red, amber, green. It's short and sharp. Show me what's red, what's the problem, you know, how can I help? What's amber? Uh, next, all right, green, I know you're doing a good job on that. Don't even worry about it. And then probably about once a month, I do a bit more of a detailed review where we actually spend more time celebrating the wins because uh, I'm already read, uh, aware of the red and the amber. Besides that, all right, I've got that. I'll get that out of your way. Just keep running. I've got your back. In doing that, frees up about 25% of my time. I, my managers, I manage like that. Yeah, don't tell me what's going well, because I know there is some really good stuff. We'll celebrate that once a month. Bring out your dead. Show me the stuff that you really need me to just go and focus on, whether that's HR problems, you know, budgeting problems, we're having a bottleneck here, there, or whatever. All right, show me what you need me to take off your plate so you can continue to run and run fast. That is met with amazing response, not just yeah. from the leaders, but also from the staff below them. I can imagine it's lots of principles of leadership here around setting the direction, clearing the roadblocks, blocks, yeah. um, providing autonomy and empowerment to staff and and the EX piece, you know, looking at your processes and the workflow and removing redundancy and waste and optimizing that so people don't have to go in feedback loops and don't have to check with you every every time because then the previous CMO, who knows, may have required that or there may have been a process where that was just the expectation and no one had asked the question, is this the right process? You've been listening to Lean Mean Marketing Teams with Ty Hayes. If you love the show, please remember to hit subscribe so that you can discover more tips and strategies to build a high-performance marketing team. And if you're feeling generous, please tell someone about the show who you think would benefit. We're on a mission to help CMOs build their dream team and enable marketers to do their best work. And we appreciate your help in spreading the word.